Hey everybody, it's Mike here from True Survival and TrueSurvival.com. Today, <clears throat> I want to show you guys how to open a can, whether it be a can of beans, can of tuna, any type of can, without using a can opener knife or any type of edge device. Okay, now, you've heard me say it before, I am a minimalist. I do not like, well not that I do not like, I prefer not to have to rely on use of tools. The reason I do that is, say we're in a disaster situation and the tool fails and I still need to get a task done. So, I always will have a can opener on me and in my EDC or my bag, go bag or whatever it may be, but if that were to get lost, stolen or fail and I need to open a can, I need to know how to do it to get the proper nutrients without, you know, relying solely on a can opener. And I'll do that with a lot of stuff, show you guys how to do stuff in a minimalist way. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is a can of tuna. Um, on top, you can see the rim there. The way this lid, it's seated down in there and crimped. We're simply going to do this with concrete, placing on the concrete. Now you could do this on a rock. Asphalt's a little tough because asphalt's a little bit more rough. If you have a, you know, say you found a good boulder that's a little bit more smooth, then you could do it. Now the process, you're going to take the top, put it down, clear out clear out the rocks, get a good stance, almost call it the same stance you're going to do, hand drill, okay, hips out, hand on top, and you're just simply going to grind. What you're trying to do is file this down. Eventually, once you filed, you're going to see a crack in there, and you're going to be able to squeeze it and open up the can. So that's what we're going for. I'm going to set my watch timer. I'm saying it's probably going to take close to 10 minutes because you got to file quite a bit. So here we go. And you'll see me move around, which I just did. This was getting real smooth, okay? Because you're going to eat up concrete. I'm going to go over here a little bit more rough, take more off. show you guys so hopefully you can see this probably not but it's basically starting to file away what we're looking for most of your cans are gonna have some type of juice once I get going and I notice maybe some liquid then I'm gonna look and I'll show you guys when we get there there's gonna be the crack it's starting to split once I get a good split all the way around I'll be able to squeeze it and open it so let's keep going at it We're six minutes in. All right. Now we're at a point where we need to be. Juice has started flowing good. I'm gonna try to clean off as much of this as I can before I open the lid. Now this is tuna, so the water, it is vital, but I'm not going to freak out if I lose a little bit. Now the process is sque simple squeeze. You see how it popped? I'm gonna squeeze, squeeze. Okay, now this top edge, if you can see that, is going to be sharp. I want to squeeze it. Even if I bend the can, I don't care. I'm going to squeeze it enough Try I get a curve Try I stick my finger under there. From that point, I can pop the lid. Okay, there you go. Simple as that. You can keep this. You could edge this up and use it for a cutting tool. Let's see. Got the food. Got my light my fire spoon, fork, and knife combo. Make sure there's no concrete on there. Some good tuna. I don't even have mayonnaise. I don't know what I'm thinking. So, purpose of this video show you how to open a can without a knife, without a can opener, just by using your environment and what's around you. Now, my time, 10 minutes, 8 seconds. That's a lot of effort put out. That's why you need to focus on your breathing, pace yourself, work it, use your weight as much as you can. 
the more weight and downward pressure, the more metal you're going to pull off, the quicker you're going to get the food. A lot of people say it's not worth the energy for a lot of bushcraft style, you know, starting a fire with your hands or whatever it may be. The calories lost in that process isn't worth it. But from my point of view, if you get the skill and the technique down to where you can speed it up. First time I tried this took me 25 minutes, okay? Learn the technique, do it right, it is worth it because this can could have 250 calories that you need. Lots of protein, good amount of carbs, really good fats. Fish is perfect to put in your kit. You need those fats for brain function and thought process, okay? So to me, it's worth it to know how to do this. I'm still gonna have a can opener, but if that ever fails, I'll know how to get food. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. We're gonna be doing you know, more and more videos, doing some giveaways. Go through there and let me know what you guys wanna see, what you guys wanna learn. If you wanna see products reviewed, what type of products. We have access to a lot of stuff, so we'd like you know, to deliver that for you guys. Once again, thank you and have a great day.